Hey, this is Kevin Zugschwert. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get warmed up, stretch out those fingers, and make them stronger and faster. Let's start it off by using an exercise called a trill, and this is basically a hammer on and pull off. I'm going to do it at the fifth fret of the third string here. And for those of you that don't know, I'm going to hammer on and pull off first so you can see what that looks like from the index finger to the middle finger here. I'll pick the index finger, hammer the middle finger, and pull off. And the trill is basically just repeating that and cycling it at higher speeds. Without picking. Then go to your ring finger after that, and then your pinky after that, and do the same thing. Only one pick. And then once you've got that, go to your middle finger and leave that down and do your ring finger and pinky only. Alright, and once you've got that, leave your ring finger down and do the pinky only. That one's by far the hardest. The next exercise I want to share with you is called the Quasi-Chromatic Scale. If you've been watching some of my videos before, you may have seen this already, but it's a great warm-up, so let's go for it. We're going to do four fingers on the sixth string, one, two, three, four, and be sure to do down, up, down, up with the pick. And then we'll do the next string after that, next string, and so on. We'll go across the first position. Now, when you get to this point at the first position, we want to shift here to the second position, and that's indicated by the index finger being at the second fret, and we'll descend starting with the pinky, ring, middle, index. Then the next string, pinky, ring, middle, index, and so on. Let's try it with some rhythm. Two, three, four, and... Now let's do a variation on that. Let's pick only the first note and hammer, hammer, hammer the other notes. And when we get down to the first string and shift, we'll pick this first note only and pull, pull, pull to the other notes and continue through the entire cycle like that. Let's try it with some rhythm. Two, three, four. Here's another great variation on the chromatic scale. I'm going to do this in a staggered format this time, starting on the first fret of the sixth string, then going to the fifth string this time on an upstroke, then back to the sixth string on a downstroke, and back to the fifth string on an upstroke. So going across strings down and up, check this out. Then go and start on the fifth string and do the same thing going to the fourth string. And so on like this. get down here and we shift to second position, I'm going to do an upstroke on the first string, a downstroke on the second string, an upstroke on the first string, and a downstroke on the second string. Okay, pause the video and get used to that and then we're going to try it with some rhythm. One, two, three, four, and...
exercise, I've shifted to a clean channel because I'm going to be picking through chords. And I'm assuming that you already know your basic chords like C chord, A minor, D minor. So if you don't know those, try and get those together first or follow along with the tabs. But I'm going to be picking through those in an alternating picking fashion. Starting on the fifth string, I'm going to go with a down stroke, an up stroke on the fourth string, down on the third, up on the second, down on the third, up on the fourth. So that's going to look like this. And we're going to do that two times for each chord. Then I'll switch to an A minor and do the same thing. Two times. Then I'm going to drop down to the first through fourth string here and do a D minor. Same picking pattern on these strings here. F major 7, then I'm going to go to these low strings up here, the 4th through 6th strings, for E minor, to the G, two times each. Alright, get comfortable with those and pause the video if you need to. We're going to try it with some rhythm next. Alright, here we go, let's try it. And there you go, those are some great exercises to get warmed up with. I'm sure you can think of some others. If you'd like to share them with us, drop them in the comments below. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tap that bell so you don't miss anything, and check out this video next. I'm